Hey guys, I just thought I'd make a quick video here uh, that I thought might help some of you. I have an engine here that I have to torque these uh, main cap bolts to a torque to angle. And I don't have the tool to do that. So my first torque, I have to just torque these all to 37 foot pounds. That's easy. But then I have to do 60 degrees of torque rotation on each one. And then I have to finish it by torquing each one to 45 degrees. So here's what I came up with. Uh, quick and simple, I just printed off this 360 degree protractor off Google and cut out the center so that it fits over my bolt. Now I can take this and I can line up zero somewhere that's easy to remember. So for example, if I lined up zero right with the shoulder on this bolt here, then I make a mark over here at 60 degrees on my block. So I'd make a mark right there. Now I know, let me move it over here into some better light for you. Now I know that I've torqued it 60 degrees when the little mark that I would make on here now lines up over here. So I've already done that on all of these. I've torqued them all to 60 degrees. So you can see the I had a little mark on there, which was back over here when I started, and then I marked the block at my 60 degrees with this protractor, turned the bolt until it lined up, and then I was done. So on these bolts, I mean, it's easy because 60 degrees is basically one flat shoulder. So I just had to turn it from here to here, and so I marked that on the block. Now, if I was gonna do 45 for my next ones, I would put this on, somewhere it's easy to note for zero. And then I'd make a mark, this red line here is 45. So I would make a, make a line on the block at the 45. And then I could again, turn this bolt to 45 degrees and then I would be done. So, I mean, it's hard to hold it all with one hand, but zero there, 60 was way over here, 45 is back there. So I would put a little mark on my block right there and I would turn from here until that hits 45 and then I would be done. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now for the rest of these and then this will be done. So I hope that that helps for somebody else and uh, you can give that a try. If you don't have the proper torque angle gauge, then this should work for you.